Worksheet 4 is a particularly challenging worksheet. In this worksheet, you come up with some of your positive <clears throat> and negative emotions. And then you try to figure out, well, is that a healthy or an unhealthy emotion? For example, you can take, as this example shows, you can take a healthy positive emotion, such as love, but that could become unhealthy when that love turns into codependence. You're not able to exist without that person. You can have a desire, nothing wrong with that, but if it becomes an addiction, that becomes unhealthy. Likewise, even negative emotions can be healthy. For example, a certain amount of sadness after someone dies, if there's a loss, that's a healthy emotion. We need to go through that. However, if it reaches a state of depression, that becomes unhealthy. Anger is a, is a healthy emotion. We have to be angry when things happen. That's just one way that we can adjust to it. However, if it turns into rage, that's unhealthy. Now on this worksheet, you're to come up with some more positive emotions that are healthy and un unhealthy and negative emotions that are healthy and unhealthy. Now, the, the purpose of going through this <clears throat> is to let yourself see that, yes, the, there are things that you should continue to feel. That's important. But you should be able to keep them on the healthy side of the spectrum. Now, in case you are not good at coming up with things at the top of your head, there's two websites at the bottom of the page. And to get to the websites, you just go to the website and you can actually click on it if you're online or you might have to type it in. And we're going to go to the first website that lists some positive emotions. So this is the website that's listed. You can't see the whole thing, but you can see part of it. And you can see that there's all sorts of different positive emotions that are covered on here. Now from this list, you might look at something like easygoing, for example. Easygoing is a positive emotion. But if you want to look at the, and it's healthy, but if you want to look at the unhealthy side of easygoing, well, you might be a little bit lazy. Likewise, on this list, you might come up with something that's quick. A quick emotion is, it's, it, it's positive, you know, to be quick, to think of things right off the top of your head. However, if you start getting to the point where you are unthinking, then that would be a negative type of emotion. Uh, efficiency is good unless you're unyielding and that would be negative. Clean is good but if you're obsessive then that's negative. So let's go back to our worksheet and let's type in those ideas. So we may say we're easygoing but if you're lazy that's negative. Or we might say that we're quick but if you're unthinking that's negative. We might say that you're efficient, but you don't want to be unyielding. And you might say that, let me get rid of the one, and you might say that you are clean, but you sure don't want to be obsessively clean. Okay? And now likewise, we turn to the negative emotions. And uh, again, we go to a website that might help us come up with some different types of negative emotions. So let's go to that site now, and let's, l let's look at some of those negative emotions. Well, among them, we can see things like someone who is dependent. Now, dependent is not necessarily bad. It's not unhealthy. But when that dependent becomes, when you become needy, well, that's pretty unhealthy. Ignorance. It's not terrible to be ignorant about something. Sometimes it's good not to know the whole picture, but if you become unable to see the truth, that becomes unhealthy. You could be detached from a situation. Sometimes that helps you to um, relate to the situation better. But if you then become apathetic, well, then that could be negative. And finally, even shyness to a certain extent can be healthy. Sometimes that's how we adjust to uh, situations. We become shy. But if you become reclusive, that can be unhealthy. So return to our, to our worksheet and we can type in the words that we just came up with. So dependent can be healthy, needy is unhealthy. 
You can have uh, ignorant, ignorant as healthy, but you can have unable to see truth as unhealthy. You can have detached as a healthy negative emotion, but apathetic as unhealthy. You can have shy as a healthy negative emotion, but you can have reclusive as unhealthy. So see which ones you come up with. This is going to take you some time, but it might help you to sort of define what you are and what things are, <clears throat> what, what emotions you have that are healthy and which ones you should change. Good luck on this. Thanks.